Hey guys and welcome back to Biscuits Told to War. This is Biscuits giving you another how-to video, giving you a little guide on how to do a little tutorial for Rome Told to War. Now for this episode today, what I'm going to show you is actually how to save and send a replay to somebody else and how then you can pick up that replay and actually watch it on your uh, computer. Now this is really handy if you're doing videos on YouTube and you've got a replay or you've done a really great battle online and what you want to do is send somebody the replay so they can actually view it and actually record it. A uh, few people know how to do this, a few people don't know how to do it so it's a little bit of a basic uh, how-to video but hopefully it may come in handy with a few guys if you're not entirely sure how to do this. So again just to recap what this guide is it's actually how to get your saved replay file from a battle that you've played either online or whatever how to get that file and send it to somebody else so they can actually watch your replay or do or edit the actual replay video so let's have a little example say I've got my army here and I've gonna use them to attack these guys we've had a great battle everything went well and what I'm gonna do now is exit the game and what I'm going to do, because this battle is so immense, not, I'm going to actually save the replay. So I click on save and I go to uh, save, let's call it any name, uh, mod, 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 so I don't forget what it is. So I've saved that replay. Now this battle has been saved on my computer. Not the best replay in the world, but this is purely for example. So what we need to do now is actually find that replay folder and find that replay file, okay? So I'll just show you that now. Okay, now what I've done now, I've pulled up the actual Rome Total War folder. Now in the Rome Total War folder, you've got a bunch of files. All you need to do is go to replays. If you click on here, you'll see all of the actual replays you've actually ever saved. Now, all you need to do is find the replay that you made and my replay that I made was called mod 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 so it's actually at the top here all you do is click on it go to copy and then just paste it wherever you want to put it so I'd normally put it on the desktop and there you go that is the actual folder that is the actual file sorry for that replay so all you need to do is actually email that file through to somebody and then they could actually watch that replay on their actual Rome Total War and you'll notice the file was super small it's 270 kilobytes so it should easily fit in any um, email without any issues at all so let's have an example say that somebody's actually emailed me this replay and what I want to do is add this replay into my Rome Total War replays what I would do I'll just delete that there pretend it wasn't there all I would do, I would click on the, the file that's been sent to me, open up the replay folder, select it and just drag it in. So what has happened now, I've now actually moved that mod, that replay file into the saved replays. I then close it down and then reopen Rome Total War. So now I've got Rome Total War back up. All I do is go to load game, load battle replay, and then I have that mod 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 one that I loaded or saved a couple of moments ago. So that's the really simple, really quick way of saving a battle replay and actually getting that file, finding it. Once you've got that file, you can send it to whoever. And once you've received that file, you can then just drag it into the replays folder. So it's really, really simple. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, one thing to bear in mind when you are doing this, there's two main variations of Rome Total War. You may either have the standard Rome Total War, um, or you might have the Steam version of Rome Total War. Now, to find out what version you've got, all you do is go to your main page, go to Options, and in the top right-hand corner, you'll see what version you've got. For the Steam version, it's called 1.51. For the standard vanilla disc version, it's just 1.5. So again, to recap that, Steam version is 1.51 and the disc version is 1.5. If you've got a replay 
that has been recorded on 1.51 and you try to watch it on a disc version of Rome Told to Wall that's a standard 1.5 version what will happen is the actual replay won't work properly it will be corrupted you'll see a replay but it won't be actually a true reflection of what happened on the battle and likewise if you have a recording on Rome Total War 1.5 version and you try to watch it on 1.51 again you'll probably see a replay but the replay will be corrupt and it won't work so to make sure that that never happens for myself I have two variations of Rome Total War the Steam version which you can see at the moment and I also have an unmodded unaltered original disc version which is still 1.5 so I can both watch old replays as well as new replays I hope that makes sense to you guys I hope it's really clear if you have any queries any questions leave a little comment below but as I say this is a really simple uh, tutorial really simple guide just to show you how to actually send replays because I like watching other people's replays I like to commentate on other people's replays but often people have some really great replay battles but are not quite sure actually how to physically send them to somebody this video hopefully shows you how to do that and answers that question for you if this has been any use please leave a little thumbs up please do check out some other guides I've got loads more guides showing you how to mod the games loads more replays for online battles campaigns tricks and tips so feel free to check out any one of my videos on my channel there's plenty more Rome Total War where this one came okay this is Biscuit signing off wishing you all the best and I'll catch you guys soon bye now